As today's cities evolve, how will AI and other emerging technologies provide the foundation for tomorrow's capabilities? Welcome to City Digital, presented by DigiKey, powered by Molex, ST Microelectronics, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we hear from leaders across the industry to discover how AI is creating new capabilities that will enable smarter, more efficient city infrastructure. ST Microelectronics is a leader in the microprocessing space, creating new technologies that harness edge computing, like AI-driven vision systems that process information in real time. ST has been working on AI for more than 10 years now. It's not something new for us, both internally and as a target for products. The smart city is being made possible real time. AI is changing everything. It's one of those in the background thing that we're not gonna see us walking the street, but in this video, we can see the machine learning algorithm being able to find the individual vehicles, tracking them through time and classifying them in the proper class that they are. So here we can see cars, motorcycles, buses, and pedestrians. And it's running on a ST microcontroller. Here we have uh, on the first one, we can see the people detection and people counting in frame. We see microprocessors and also microcontroller application all the way on top. We're running a completely different application and we're able to segment the person being seen. So in that case, it will track my, my gestures, my movement, my eyesight, and generally the orientation of my face. Current wave really is those vision applications that are coming to the edge. The next wave is going to be generative AI, what's going to be able to be done, especially in terms of fusing so many different inputs from the environment as well as from people interacting with it. As innovators across the globe seek new ways for devices to communicate and share critical data, Molex is powering the next wave of AI technology by enabling a future where its influence is felt throughout every facet of a smart city's infrastructure. I tell my friends and family that they probably own $200 to $300 worth of stuff that I've been a part of making and they don't even know it. It's in your TV set, it's in your computer. When you go to your favorite search engine and you look at the hardware behind there, you've touched something that our company has produced. The city is our application space. What you and I want to do, we want to go to dinner, we want to make sure we don't have all the street lights, we want to make sure that stuff happens, we want to have that automation, traffic control, traffic management. Even cars today can figure out where the stoplights are, right, when they're on or off. How do you tie car to car communications, car to light, people to people, all those communication paths, and basically how to predict when you need those communication paths to work. Distribution is a, a way to get the prototypes online in the labs as soon as possible. You know, if we want to bring up the latest 224 gigabit per second PAM4 chip, we need a lot of infrastructure around that. We need microprocessors, we need resistors, we need capacitors, we need those kind of things, and we, we, we kind of want to get them there fairly quickly, right? We may not have this stuff in the lab, maybe we do, maybe we don't. We want to understand how that technology is going to work through the next seven to 10 years. And the best way to do that is breadboard stuff up, make sure things work, right? We're in the main campus here at Lyle Reliability Lab. What we do is accelerated testing you shorten the time it takes to get done. This is a new tester that we want to put online. They call it a flying probe because the probes can go anywhere. Those four probes come down to make electrical measurements. This is an XPS, X-ray photo spectroscopy. We use this to look at what's on the surface of metallic material. And then over to your left, we have our scanning electron microscope and our FIB-SEM. That stands for focused ion beam. And this again lets us look at the surface and evaluate what elements are there. We're able to look at different plating layers and, and determine what those materials are. Also has elemental analysis, so this tells us which different elements are here. So this is showing us tin, carbon, oxygen, and copper, and so on. It's very useful to understand unknowns and what's happening on the surface. In order to keep this whole infrastructure rolling, this whole genesis of this project going, you need to have those bits and pieces in place in the labs. And you know, you're not going out and ordering 10 million of these things, you're ordering tens. The immediate responses of distribution type of businesses really do help out in, in, in starting up the process. As demand for new and powerful components continues to rise, DigiKey is poised to provide designers with the parts and resources they need to enable the next wave of smart city AI technology. Advances in sensor technology are really critical to applications like public safety. There, there's a lot of real-time data that needs to be analyzed. AI has a lot of obvious benefits to waste management collection, just with truck routing, automating that piece of it. 
knowing where to send the trucks and the people. One of the areas that'll have a really big impact is recycling. The ability to recycle different materials, more materials, and really make that process a lot more efficient. Utilities in the smart grid are really a, a structure of traditional energy generation techniques and then microgrids, which are more renewable energy. AI can really ingest a lot of the data, a lot of the demand forecasting to shift where energy production needs to come from. Future cities will leverage numerous types of technology to create safe, efficient, and capable spaces. AI represents the cornerstone of this future, a driving force toward realizing city digital.